This is going to be an introductory video on the Cirrus Breeze rocket glider. Um, rocket glider means that everything stays together in the flight. Nothing will fall off, um, which, which is different from a boost glider, where a boost glider, the, the motor typically falls off. In a rocket glider, everything stays together. Um, it uses an A motor or a half A motor, the, the mini engine size. Um, what's unique about this glider is that it's been engineered to reduce the complexity to make it a breeze to build, which is where the name came from. Um, first of all, um, everything will be laser cut. Um, and you'll notice that the wing here has extra lines on it, and these aren't to snap apart. No, you don't want to snap these apart. These are actually cut lines, but you want to sand the wing first, and once you sand it, then it's hard to line it up to make nice accurate cuts. So we put cut lines that will show up when it's time to cut the wing. Um, the tailpiece, you can see that that's also laser cut. Um, there's a slide box, which the wing slides back and forth on. That's also laser cut, and it's kind of got, uh, it's all pre-marked, and it's all, um, it goes together like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. So it's, it's almost impossible to put it together wrong. Um, and then the, the, uh, the boom is also laser cut. Um, this is made out of plywood, which is different from other rocket gliders. Typically they use a solid piece of wood. And by making this laser cut, uh, we could do a lot of cool things into it. You'll see I put some holes in it. And at the front here, uh, it kind of looks like a, uh, a whale, but that's actually for the rubber band to go in to remove all the excess parts that typically to go that are on rocket gliders. And the other thing you'll notice about this is that it's got a curvature to it. And that curvature is unique um, and it allows the glider to transition into a glide from a boost. So you want a nice straight boost and then you want it to transition to a glide. And this curvature is actually for that. Um, the kit also comes with some um, assembly fixtures. Um, this is the dihedral um, gauge and you'll notice that it's cut out so that it, you can't accidentally glue your wing to it as you're putting it together. And again, it's all got slots and tabs so it all goes together and it's nice and rigid once you glue it up. Um, this is a sanding jig and there's a video on the Apogee website on how to put a dihedral in the wing and you'll, you'll see one of these there. Um, this is a skill level 5 kit, and the reason is, is because of the dihedral in the wing. Um, it's a little bit more complex than a simple wing, like on a, on a simple rocket. Uh, but with the, with the uh, assembly fixtures, it goes together a lot faster. And you also will have to trim it to glide, but there's not a lot of trimming to do, because if you build it nice and straight using the fixtures, um, it, will, it will be really easy to trim. Um, right now I have it in launch mode, and you can see I got the rocket engine in here, and there's a string, if you can see that string right there, that, that it's, it's tied to the back of the sliding box, and you'll see there's a little, on the sliding box, I put a little hole there, and that's where the string is attached to, and then the string goes through the hole in the boom, along the side of the boom, back through, and it comes out this side, and then it goes up through the hole here, and then it's tied here on this post. Um, and the reason that it goes through there is because when the ejection charge goes off, it's going to burn that string, and then the rubber band, which is down here, and you can also see the tabs on the bottom of the, uh, the slide box. See, that's what they look like, and you'll see that right here. And that's where the uh, rubber band hooks into. And then it goes and hooks into the front. Um, so then when I, when I take a pair of scissors and I can simulate this, and I'm just going to cut the string on this side. And the wing is going to guillotine, so I want to keep my fingers out of the way. See how fast that was? Um, so so it only, not only moves fast, but what happens is, um, because it's straight in the back, when the wing is in the back position, everything's at zero degrees angle attack. 
so that the wing and the tail are both zero angles of attack. So that's what gives you your nice straight boost. Everything's perfectly aligned. But in a typical glider, what we do is we tilt the back end of the tail up, and that's called um, anhedral. I think, no, that's not the right name. Well, anyway, you, you, you gave it a little bit of up elevator, and that causes the glider to tilt up. But because we want to keep everything straight and flat, in order to get that differential between the tail and the wing, we allow the wing to slide forward, and it actually slides on a curvature. And so it's at a positive 3 degrees angle of attack here once it's in the glide position, which tip really means that the, the glider will level out like this, and then the tail will be downwards at 3 degrees angle of attack. And that allows it to level out into the glide. So there's a lot of really complex engineering that went into this glider kit to make it as easy as possible and to make it into a great flyer. Um, if you're interested in rocket gliders, this will be a good one to start out with. Um, you'll get it at Apogee Components. Um, and the rest of the instructions are also in video form, so I'm going to walk you through how to put it together and build it and fly it. Um, so this is the Cirrus Breeze Rocket Glider Kit, and you'll get it at Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com.